Hi, we're going to practice counting edges today. And this is something fun to do because you're able to mark things up. Um, so we're going to use the scratch pad to really help us out today, especially because with solid figures, you can't always see what's on the bottom. Okay, so our first picture is a triangular pyramid. And we want to know how many edges the object has. Edges are where two flat planes, two sides, meet. Okay, so let's check here. So, for example, right here, there's one, two, three. We have three on the top. Now, let's work our way around the bottom. One, two. So, we had three on top. And then we had two more on the bottom. But this is what I'm talking about. You have to make sure you think of what you can't see. What you can't see right now is the last edge, which goes from this point to the other end. So that gives us one more. So how many edges do we actually have? We had three coming down from the top, and we had three on the bottom. So that means we have six edges. Okay, this is another pyramid, but this time it's a rectangular pyramid, meaning the base of it is a rectangle. Okay, same thing as last time. When we work on finding the edges, I like to work top to bottom. I'm making sure this way I'm not skipping anything. Okay, so top to bottom. Here we go. We have one, two, three. Now, because it's a rectangle, that means I also have a point back here, okay? So another side comes down over here that we can't see. So coming down from the top, there's four edges. Now let's do the bottom. One, two, and now it's hard to see. Remember, it's a rectangle on the bottom. So I have two more sides. So one, two, three, four on the bottom. So in all, how many edges does this rectangular pyramid have? It has eight. Good job. Another rectangular pyramid. We just did this. How many does it have? Here's a hint. However many were on the top coming down, we're the same for how many were at the bottom on the base. It's eight. Good job. How about this object? It's a rectangular prism. Okay. Now, this is made with a lot of rectangles and either squares on the sides or rectangles. So this is why it's good to work top to bottom. So first we have our rectangle on the top. One, two, three, four. We had four on the top. Now I want to work down. So I want to find everything going down, all my edges going down. One, two, three. Are there three? No, there's a corner back here. And this edge goes down the back side because it goes on the bottom. So going down, I also have four. That leaves my rectangle on the bottom, the base. So I have one, two, and now we can't see the other two, three, and four. Four. So we had four again. So how many is that all together? Four, four, four. So the answer is 12. There are 12 edges on that prism. Okay, practice again. How many edges does this prism have? Start at the top. One, two, three, four. Then we work down. One, two, three. And in the back, four. So we're up to a total of eight. 
And then we have to do our base, the bottom rectangle. So we're at 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we have 12 edges again. Okay, triangular pyramid. Triangular pyramid. What is the base? The bottom is a triangle. Okay, so top to bottom, we have one, two, and three. Okay, and then we have four, five, and the other side of the triangle on the base we can't see is six. So if you remember from the first one, we had three on the top and three on the bottom with the base. And that's how we get six. If you ever have an actual solid figure in front of you, that's another way that you can pick it up and hold on to it. If you can't mark it, then you can touch and count each edge. Okay, a cube. Same thing as before, we're working top to bottom and tracing over as we go. So on the top, we have one, two, three, four. We have four on the top. Now let's do the edges that go down, straight down. One, two, three, and there's one more in the back, remember? We just can't see it because the figure is solid. So going down, we also have four. And how about the base, meaning the bottom that's touching the ground or the table? One, two, three, four, four, we have four. So how many edges does this have? It has 12. It's just like the rectangular prism. We both have 12 edges. Okay, this is a rectangular pyramid, which means the base is a rectangle. So we need to remember that when we're counting the edges on the bottom. Okay, first, top to bottom, one, two, three. And because I have a rectangle, that means there's a edge on the back I can't see. Four, four on the top. Now let's work our way around the bottom of the base. One, two, three, four. Four for the rectangle base on bottom. So how many total edges do we have? Top and bottom together, we have eight. Nice job. Okay, it's a cube again. And remember, a cube and a rectangular prism have the same amount of edges. So let's practice. One, two, three, four for the top. Let's do the sides. Five, six, seven, and we can't see it, but eight. And then the bottom square. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So this cube has 12 edges. Let's do one more. Rectangular prism, just like a cube, has the same amount, but let's trace it to practice. Top to bottom, one, two, three, four. And you can see my markings aren't perfect. That's okay. We're worried about counting the edges, not how pretty it looks. Okay, now let's work down. We're at four, five, six, seven, and we have one edge back here that we can't see, eight. And then we trace our bottom rectangle, nine, 10, 11, 12. So how many edges does this have? Just like the cube, it has 12. Good job. This was a challenge and you rocked it.